apologize about the lighting I woke up this morning thinking it would be a nice sunny day and I could film a nice cute intro it's a storm outside and it's basically like night time but today's video is a follow-up from my last video where I went on a vegan budget shop in Tesco you guys loved that video so much and I'm really happy you did so I'm gonna be making this into a series I spent 15 pounds on my grocery shopping and I wanted to basically just give you some ideas on how to eat vegan on a budget and kind of see if it's doable because I went vegan at university and I actually personally found it made my shopping cheaper but then I did have to figure out new ways and different styles of cooking, new ways to shop, different foods I'd be buying so I wanted to kind of help you guys with that. Some people economically find that veganism is too expensive, everyone's different and everyone's scenario is different, people have you know jobs, families to feed and different situations so I wanted to just kind of give advice for anyone who's trying to do vegan on a budget. So all the meals that I'm going to be eating in this video are from my website and I have filmed all of them before. As you saw in my last video I kind of wrote a grocery list and planned it out for the week using the recipes from my website because I know that I've planned some really cheap meals before that are under a pound. It wasn't quite a full week, Alex and I had been away and we've been very busy and we kind of filmed that last video not fully thinking we would do a follow-up video so unfortunately it wasn't a full week and it kind of isn't a true representation which is a bit frustrating because I wanted to see how much food I ended up with at the end if it was enough food if it was too much food but I'll do that in the next video when I'm organized and now I know that you guys really like these videos but yeah enough of my talking hope that makes sense and let me know if you'd want to see a follow-up video I'm thinking of doing Aldi next and then I'll do a proper week just me eating um, vegan food on my own for a full week and see how it turns out so yes let's get into it first meal get some good old porridge begins this is a very normal meal for me though I have porridge most days um, not recently I've been having yogurt recently but porridge if you've been following me for a while is a pretty standard thing in my in my life um, it's just so cheap and so tasty delicious the only difference with this porridge for my usual porridge is that I usually put maple syrup on top um, I did add cinnamon in there though um, I recommend as a student if you can grab some spices things like my basics would probably be cinnamon some chili powder, some cumin and some paprika and I think if you have those things you can make some really delicious meals. Maybe some curry powder as well and you can kind of just stock up on those over time but cinnamon will make a big difference to your morning porridge and I think you can get that pretty affordably. So I'm going to enjoy this and check back in soon. now that's the easiest meal ever you can put whatever veg you like in um, and then you just leave it to simmer for about 30 to 45 minutes I put the rice on ready to go and it can sit there I have a video about how to make perfect rice so I'll link that above but really really easy student quick meal so I've got to say the recipe calls for a chili which I didn't buy um, but if you don't buy a chili then you can just use extra chili powder um, which is probably even cheaper So let's give this a try. 
I've tried this on camera many times in videos or variations of it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So delicious, so cheap, so simple, and I've got four portions here. Perfect leftovers of the chili for lunch. So I'm just cooking some dinner. I'm making it a stir fry and it is my 99p student stir fry which I'll link below. It's really really easy, really really cheap and the only thing I didn't have was ginger. That's the only thing I didn't buy from the shop but I did have some in my freezer because I always have ginger and I definitely advise you always have that to hand. For me it's kind of like something like oil that I'd always have. Another thing that I didn't buy was the brown sugar but again that's something I just have in my cupboard and everything's cooking up. So this is a really easy and cheap meal to make. And if you're a student and you only have access to a microwave, I also have a microwave stir fry um, on my website, so check that one out as, as well. The only difference this has to stir fries I would usually make is I would usually add things like tofu or peanut butter or tahini, um, but often I don't do that anyway, and this is actually a lot easier because it's frozen veg, so this is gonna be yummy. And I would advise also adding in some soy milk as well if you have it um if you've got any spare after all the tea and porridge you've been eating this week um but it doesn't need it it just kind of makes it a bit creamy if you fancy it but yeah i'm just gonna put a bit of sugar in and turn the temperature up Here is the finished plate of noodles, looks great. And I'm very excited and there is definitely leftovers, so yes. Of course, let's do a taste test. What Madeline and Olivia video would it be if it wasn't a taste test? Mm -mm -mm. So simple and so good. It is the weekend, so there's a lot of noise happening because I'm frying up some onion and garlic and boiling the kettle to make some soup. I just chopped up a carrot, sweet potato and a normal potato and I'm just frying up some onion and garlic and I'm gonna put some spices in there. I think I'm gonna put some cumin, paprika and chili, but you could just use curry powder and then bung all that in, pour over some vegetable stock, um, simmer and then season with some salt and pepper and then blend it together and that's a really easy um, soup recipe. If you have no stock, because often I run out of stock, or a really like kind of multi-purpose cheap option is Marmite, so you just use like a tablespoon of Marmite, and yes, that says Alexander on it. Alex got this for his for Christmas. Um, let me go over here, I feel like it's very loud over there. <laughs> yeah, you just use like a teaspoon of this in some hot water and it makes like a stock, um, so it means you can use Marmite on toast, and then you can also use it as stock, so it's kind of saving money there, so. Just like fire, no denying. I know we won't be late. So the soup is bubbling away very nicely over there. Um, and I'm gonna use a hand blender to blend it. I've had this since university. It was a hand-me-down from my mum. Um, but I know that these things you can get very cheaply from supermarkets or have a look in charity shops for either a hand blender or an actual blender because I think it's a really, really useful tool to have in your house if you are on a budget because it means you can make lots of meals like this. You can make things like hummus from scratch, which is cheaper. You can make dips, salad dressings, smoothies, like, you can make everything from home and it will make it cheaper than it would be if you were buying it out and I use my blender, either my hand blender, my Nutribullet, um, most days, if not every day. And you don't need to buy a Nutribullet because that is expensive. You can get cheaper versions of the same thing. Alex used to have like a 20 or 30 pound one. What was that blender that you used to have, Alex? The green one? Pardon? Was that the Breville? Breville. Yeah. 
Alex used to have a Breville one, which is essentially like a Nutribullet, just more affordable. Um, so yeah, there are there are definitely a, a good thing to get if you are wanting to save some money and cook from home, and it means you can make soup. If you don't have one, just chop up everything really small, and then it can just be like a lumpy soup, and you can kind of like mash it with a fork. So yes, I think it's nearly ready to blend. Yum, you can add more water if you want it to be more runny, but I quite like it thick. Alex and I are sharing. So this week has been a little bit skewed. Um, it's kind of, I'm doing it for a bit shorter than a week because Alex and I are sharing some of the food just out of convenience because we cook everything together. Yeah, we've been eating all the, the ingredients that we bought, but just kind of sharing it. So it's not gonna last a full seven days, but probably will last about four or so. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd say that in case you're confused at why there's like two. <laughs> so for dinner, I'm gonna be making my lentil ragu, except I'm gonna half the recipe just because I'm limited on ingredients and I plan on making a dal. And this one makes a lot of food. I'm gonna be using some lentils, some chopped tomatoes, some herbs, salt and pepper, a bit of sugar, some tomato puree that I had in the cupboard, an onion. Is an onion and garlic cooking in oil the best smell? on this planet. <laughs> and if you're cooking this recipe just for yourself, not for like a group of you, then definitely just cook the amount of spaghetti that you're going to eat that evening and dish it out that way. Because if you cook all the spaghetti and mix everything all together, it tends to go a bit clumpy when you reheat it and the spaghetti like absorbs a lot of the sauce. So you can have it as leftovers, but just cook the spaghetti fresh each time you serve it and that will make it taste the best. So everything is in, all mixing together. Yummy, yummy, yum. This recipe is so simple. You just bung everything in and just leave it to cook. So there it is. Dinner is served. It actually looks amazing. Like seriously delicious. Excuse my costume change. I got out of my paint clothes <laughs> and into something a little bit better. But, mm. Surprise, it's me, not Maddie. I am cooking for Maddie this evening. Uh, she is very busy and is working, so I'm helping her out. We're doing the dal. I've got the ingredients right here. Where are they? Here they are. I've got spices, rice, lentils, tomato, onion, garlic. I think it was one of the first recipe videos Maddie ever did years ago, so we'll put a link up here somewhere to go and watch it. Right, let's go. portion and that's a pretty hefty portion and look how much is left it looks like I haven't even taken any out uh, yeah that is loads so I want to top that with some pepper maybe a teeny bit of salt and some sriracha and then that is going to last for several meals over several days time for some crunchy sticks These were a good purchase. Priorities. So on reflection, everything went really well. I enjoyed all the meals that we cooked 
and I loved having porridge every day for breakfast because I have porridge most days for breakfast anyway. I enjoyed all the meals because I cook those meals all the time, especially things like lentil dal and chilli. The only difference I noticed was the additional things that I add to my meals that are actually luxuries. Things like chia seeds or flax seeds or nut butters and things like avocado, nutritional yeast, um, vegan cheese, that kind of thing I, I add to my meals all the time not only because they taste good but also for nutritional value because it's important to make sure you're eating enough fat and protein on a vegan diet and that is something that I will do better next time. I'm gonna try my hardest next time to incorporate some nuts and seeds into the budget and maybe some different fats, maybe try and get some tofu, who knows, we'll see if I can do it. I'm not a nutritionist though, I'm not a dietitian, so please do not take this video as advice for how to eat. So please do your own research and be smart with your decisions and make sure you're supplementing um, B12 and vitamin D and that kind of thing and just understand that you've gotta be smart when you eat vegan food and you've gotta be smart when you uh, go on a budget and you're cutting out certain food groups and stuff like that. Let me know what you'd like to see from future videos. I'm definitely next time going to be doing Aldi, the full seven days, vlogging everything and um, sharing maybe everything that's left at the end and the foods that I would buy more of or change. But let me know your thoughts and hope you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe and give this video a like if you did and I will make this into a proper series on my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!